Somehow, when you don't qualify as normal, you often become the center of a wide array of interventions, with words such as these attached to them. Teach, guide, heal, shape, correct, modify, supervise, discipline, prepare, instruct, manage, enlighten, direct, train, advise, order, and control. After an overfull schedule of such relationships, try to sense how you might feel if suddenly you found a friend who became attracted to you exactly as you are, or just liked being with you, and never, repeat never, felt the need to fix you. I never intentionally set out to start natural ties. It just happened naturally, as any other friendship would. When I was a sophomore at the University of Kansas, I sat down next to a stranger. And even though we hadn't met before, it seemed like we had a lot in common. One of the first things we talked about was our common interest and love for music. He loved James Taylor, Simon and Garfunkel, and so did I. He also loved KU basketball, and so did I. The next thing I knew, we were singing some James Taylor songs. I just want to stop. Thank you, baby. I want to stop. I went to college with. Jay's disability didn't bother me because he was more like me than unlike me. He quickly became a friend of mine rather than a stranger with a disability. Smile. Can you smile? At the time, I was living in a fraternity with about 80 other guys. And if they were anything like me, they probably had little or no experience with people with disabilities. Jay and I started spending about two or three days a week together. And I always kind of thought to myself, what are we ever going to learn if we don't ever try new things? Well, some of the other guys didn't really accept Jay the way that I thought they would. But as Jay's visits continued, a lot of the prejudice broke down, and the guys accepted Jay for who he is, and not for who they wanted him to be. The chapter has just had its house meeting, and we voted unanimously to admit Jay Turnbull to the SAE fraternity. Is that okay with you? And I can't tell you how okay it was with me. You could have knocked me over with a feather. I mean, I, I felt as though the, 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 the floor was falling out below me or the ceiling was exploding above me. I, I had this, this uh, sensation of um, this was the dream. Since that day that Pat and Jay met in 1988, Jay has become a brother of the SAE fraternity and Pat has become the executive director of a program inspired by their relationship called Natural Ties. Its aim is to strengthen the performance of the communities it serves by teaming up all of its members, by creating an avenue through which individuals with and without disabilities can work together to place their communities out in front. No one can do it alone. This may seem a difficult work, but if you just listen to the words and look at the pictures, you'll find that it's actually pretty simple. It's a type of organization where you can walk into a room and not feel like you're being judged by anybody. Everyone likes you for who you are, and that's probably the best thing about this group. You can just be yourself. I think it's you know the basic foundation of the friendship. There's nothing really structured where we say you know it has to be this, and you know you have to do certain things. It's you know whatever you feel comfortable doing, just like any other friend you'd have. People are brought into a situation where they're not forced to to make friends with anybody, they, they do it because they want to do it, and they do it because it feels right to them. That's where the whole naturalness of, of the organization comes into play. Feeling natural and open to new ideas is the nucleus of the whole program. It's the reason that Natural Ties was founded and is successful today. It means different things to different people. Some see friendships, some see teamwork, some see an opportunity for growth while others search for that glimmer of hope and find satisfaction in doing something different. One thing for certain, though, is that Natural Ties promotes the reciprocal qualities that all true friendships try to uphold. The, the term that we use a lot and that I think Natural Ties tries to foster is that mutual interdependence, that it's not one group uh, of disabled people with a disability having to rely um, 
on people without a disability to give them everything or protect them or whatever, but that they need both. Both of them, both of those two groups need each other. In my experience or any college experience, if you could have a natural ties on campus, uh, it uh, would be of tremendous value to students. I mean, that, this is your formative period where you're really solidifying your values, your point of view about the world, how you're going to approach other people. And an experience like Natural Ties, which is going to open your mind and your heart and the way you view the disabled uh, and really begin to accept people who are different than you are and relate to them, can only be uh, a phenomenal learning experience at a, at a critical time in your life that will carry over to not only how you deal with disabled people, but with how you deal with all sorts of groups of people who are different than you are. There is a special child upon every once in a while. He's simpler than you and I. This person has desire. He likes to aspire to be just like you and me. Natural ties, I believe, can give students uh, an exposure to a career area uh, as well as a volunteer service area uh, that many of them will not have ever been exposed to or given much thought to uh, until they have uh, an opportunity to uh, be involved in a program uh, such as Natural Ties. Yeah, I get out of sleep last night, so, uh, I tell a boy, I tell a you down. Sometimes the spoken word is overrated, and it's the emotional attachment that should be of value. The teamwork that is intrinsically part of this philosophy enhances the learning process for everyone involved and helps to break down any remaining barriers that occur through human interaction. Natural Ties first starts out with a student and a person with a disability, but soon the lines blur as to any specific title one might hold. The only thing that matters now is friendship. Carlton stepped on your hair? How did he step on your hair? This is Ira Mitchell, a teacher's aide in an elementary school in Evanston, Illinois. Most of them look forward to seeing me every day. Time out. What? Just from talking with Ira, it seems that the toughest part is, um, is just uh, meeting new people, uh, meeting people outside of your immediate surroundings. And this is Eli Winkler, a sophomore in the Fiji fraternity at Northwestern University. It would be too easy to guess that their interests are a world apart, that their lifestyles are completely different, or that their backgrounds would never lead them to the same dinner table at the same time at the same fraternity house. I always feel like I'm accepted over here because people are always nice to me. Every time I come over here, everybody's like, hey, what's happening? I'm like, not much. It's just a place where he can walk in anytime. Uh, he knows the code to our door. He eats dinner with us. He goes to football games with us. He tailgates outside in the parking lot with us. What tends to happen to people with disabilities and to college students is that um, they go to their own institutions and um, they create their own lives and surround themselves with people much like themselves. And uh, Natural Ties is just a way of connecting those two groups and my experience is that it definitely works. Natural Ties has unquestionably brought Ira's and Eli's worlds much closer, and it gives them the opportunity to learn from each other while nurturing a friendship that may last a lifetime. She wants to go back to school. And I'm thinking about going back to school, but I can't, I don't know if I could handle school and working at the same time. You know, why shouldn't she be able to? But normally people probably wouldn't think of her as wanting to pursue a higher education. What I like most about having a family is I can t relate and talk to, if I'm really down, they're there to listen. And that's what the ties mean to me. Um, because I, my family is split apart right now. My mom and dad's down in Ar Arkansas and 
Um, having the ties around me are really, really, because I can talk and relate and they understand why I'm relating from. Sharon is involved with the Sigma Kappa sorority at the University of Kansas, where she is an active member with many of the events that go on during the year. She has learned a lot with her new friends from dancing, to fancy pool playing, to just hanging out and being one of the girls. The best thing in all these lessons, though, is that there are no lessons, no teaching, and no lecturing. This is good old-fashioned friendship. I'll learn from you, and you learn from me. Natural Ties and other programs like it uh, give students a chance to try out those theories um, in, a, in a reality uh, reference uh, that uh, the classroom doesn't provide. The best education often occurs by simply living life, not by sitting in a classroom with four walls and a textbook. There is no book in the world that can convey the joy shared in a greeting of good friends. And by recognizing this, Natural Ties is committed not to theories, but to realities, and to people, and to friendships. It's not easy, and oftentimes can get quite complicated, but the tie between friends will always overshadow any small problems encountered along the way. College is a time to branch out, to meet new people, to try new things, and in doing so, Learn a lot about the people around you, and even more about yourself. If you look around and actually take a second to realize where you are, you'll notice that you're in a unique environment, one in which you may become best friends with someone you never dreamed of. Just look at Brian Davis, whose affiliation with Sigma Phi Epsilon has touched everyone involved and given him enough emotion and enough confidence to write this letter to his new brothers. I will always think of my brothers. I cannot ever describe my feelings for how important my brothers, my new brothers are to me. Life with them is, with co my college friends, is great interesting and most of all fun. I feel like these guys understand me, respect me, and also in a brotherly way. I care a lot about these guys. The inspiration that is verbalized succinctly here by Brian is the epitome of natural ties. People become friends through casual, everyday type interaction. And the benefits of these friendships help complement each other's character while broadening their outlook and understanding of someone who may seem different than they are. One of the great challenges in, in working with people with disabilities is to see beyond the disability and to see the ability. This challenge, though, is easily overcome when face to face with Kevin Bacon. He is Mr. Optimism. The only way that I was going to get them to open up and communicate with me was that I had to communic communicate with them first. It's not Kevin's in a wheelchair, it's Kevin. This two-sport athlete once had dreams of playing professional sports after graduating from Cornell University, but a tragic accident in his sophomore year left him paralyzed from the waist down and has left him with dreams of a much different nature. What I'd like for Natural Tires to do, and I, which, which I believe it can do, has a, the, the possibilities are endless with this particular program, is to eventually get to just about almost every major uh, university to establish a social interactive between individuals who are disabled and not disabled. Because eventually, the individuals who are in college right now or will be in a workforce there will be hiring individuals who have disabilities or who may not have disabilities. Therefore, they won't have a shocking perception of what this person is going to look like and, and won't seem as though they've seen someone probably locked up in a closet for eight years because they've had a, a disability and not being talked to. They would have probably already dealt with someone on that term. That way, when they see them, they
you become a part of Natural Ties, it's really... It's a great organization. I think it's made up of some um, people that are really caring and they really want to make a difference in, in individuals' lives. It makes me feel good that I have had an impact on his life and he has vice versa in my life too because you know, I'll, I know I'll keep in touch with him forever. And I think that's great that Natural Ties has done that. When I see Paige in relationships that she has, she has a huge impact. She has a much greater impact than anybody I know. Um, a friend of mine has a daughter who just went off to college and she called me before she went off to college and told me that she's going to be a special ed teacher because of Paige. There's no difference between any of us. So we do some fun things like play some pool and play sand volleyball, play some softball, and touch football. I get to go walk up on campus with my ties. We get to go to the bookstore, and we look around in the bookstore, and it, it's, I'm happy about it. It's very helpful to people like me or other people, the, my friends who have disabilities too. I think they would benefit everybody if everybody would get involved. Easy answers to hard to face. Live on is my case. Nothing more just being on than I. It seems a natural tie. Love them all and don't be blind. If you ever sit down and talk to anyone who happens to have a developmental disability, you'll notice one thing, and one very important thing if you actually put your mind into realizing what they're saying to you, you can understand them. They're not talking in circles to you. Brothers of humanity, the brothers of humanity. I think the thing that's wonderful about natural ties is right in the name. Natural Ties is fun. Natural Ties is bonding. Natural Ties is friendship. Natural Ties is great. Natural Ties is friendship. Natural Ties is very outgoing. Natural Ties is incredible. I agree. Natural Ties is incredible. Natural Ties is a phenomenon. Natural Ties is mutually beneficial. Natural Ties is fun. Natural Ties is... Stump me on that one. Natural Ties is... I, I can't answer it in one word for you. Ha, ha, ha.